What's going on guys, Dr. Dave here, bringing you guys another video today. Uh, in today's video, I want to talk about some uh, building tips and tricks that you can use to help up your building game and uh, help you gain the edge on your opponent during build battles. Um, a lot of these tips and tricks are mainly going to include the scissor jump and variations of the scissor jump. So for those of you who don't know what the scissor jump is, the scissor jump is basically when you have a, a, a wall or a floor over you and you need to keep going upwards instead of going downwards or instead of trying to turn around and reversing your movement you can just make that jump to the side that i did um when someone has floored over you or you floored over yourself to protect yourself so that is the scissor jump at the very basic level um you know being here and jumping up to over here but there are other ways to perform a scissor jump one thing you can do if someone ramps over you like this you can jump to the side put a wall and then immediately place a floor so it looks like that relatively uh, i can try to show you guys a better example So you can jump over there and immediately start nining afterwards. Um, this is very common when people do this. On top of that, sometimes they'll put the floor underneath them too. So when they floor you, like like three three layer ramp rush you, you can also just jump to the side and, and drop the floor. I can hit the jump. Just like that. Another variation of the scissor jump that I wanted to talk about is sometimes you want to go out more instead of trying to go up immediately so you can jump to the side and put floors like that and pop a scissor jump off so you jump to the side you put a floor over here which then in turn lets you put another floor right here now in this next one that i'm going to show you um, this is going to be a lot mainly for scrim players or for in sometimes just situations overall where you catch yourself in a position where you need to turtle up. So and many times what people do is they go for this edit right here and they come outward. But this edit is pretty expected nowadays. So instead, one thing that you can do is you can pop this corner edit and you can jump out from your ramp right here which is also the same scissor jump position. And just ramp up over them now that's one way to do it but um a pro player in the eu named martaz actually um came up with a better idea on how to do the scissor jump from this position so inside of a, whenever you're scrimming or in, inside of a turtle you can put a pyramid down this can do the exact same thing as a ramp but also better so if you want to rotate it you can just do like that it's, it's the same shit, right but this also allows you to get like cover from for peeking behind walls you can have another like something else to peek behind right well in this position what you can do is you can just rotate one corner edit one corner up make this same corner jump and it's a lot easier of a jump to make right so that's another variation of the scissor jump that can be done you can be executed a lot easier i'd also uh, implore you guys to start using pyramids instead of ramps inside of your turtles uh, as they are more effective now in this last variation sometimes you get into a position where you can actually put a wall up uh, to perform a scissor jump. and the best way to demonstrate it would be like this right so sometimes you get like this and you can actually jump to the side and scissor like that. Alright, so I'm gonna demonstrate this one more time in slower motion. So when you're double ramping up like this, you can turn around, right? Jump and turn around. So most people when they do their nine or when they do their 80s, 180s now, is they make this jump, right? And they put a wall here. But what you can do is you can make the jump a lot sooner after your ramp is placed, put a wall there, jump off to the side, and put another wall in a floor. So it'll look like this. Except you don't put a floor over the top of you, right? So you would look down. And one last time. You're right here. Jump, put a wall. And put a floor. Right? 
So those are just all the variations that I know of currently myself that I use all the time. Uh, scissor jumping is really good because sometimes if someone ramps over you like this, right? Instead of turning around and trying to double ramp up to try to get high ground on them, you can simply do that, perform this scissor jump right here. And you're in a lot better position than trying to turn around and because they're just going to keep going upwards, right? So you don't want to be in that position of putting yourself more behind because they floor, floored over you. So that'll be it for this video. Uh, I plan on doing more tips and tricks videos. If there's any tips and tricks that you guys would like to see, just comment down below. Uh, if you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more information like this. Um, and I will see you guys next time.